What do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef. <laughs> everyone, happy Friday. Today we are going to be doing something a little different. Not only are we on YouTube, we're going to be over on Instagram TV. What? Today we are going to be making something special. This idea was inspired by one of my good friends who is also a chef, and his favorite thing in the world to make is Beef Wellington. I can't make Beef Wellington, but I can make burgers. So today, I'm gonna show you how to make Welly Burgers. Okay, before we get started, I have a couple of shout outs I wanna throw down. First, to my boy Tenzing, fellow chef of mine, inspired this Welly Burger. Second, Avon Wells over at Onyx Hospitality, who introduced me to Instagram TV literally today. Uh, he told me I was an old man and I should know better. And lastly, to uh, the guys over at Chuckleberry Trading Co. They are still kicking it. And now they got a YouTube channel. The link is in the description below, as well as the recipe and the instructions for everything that we're gonna to do today. All right, guys, let's get right to it. One thing I do have to note is you will not have amounts for the seasoning for the burger mix because this is my old man's secret recipe and he told it to me. Um, and I think if I gave that out, he might break my fingers. So uh, do what you want with it. But this is the gist of how to make a burger patty. So good luck. Just a couple pointers. If you're gonna use bacon, cook it to about 75%. That way when you wrap your burger in it, that is if you wrap your burger in it, uh, but it would be wise if you wrapped your burger in bacon, uh, cook it 75%. So that way when it goes in the oven to cook the rest of the way with the puff pastry, it doesn't overcook. Uh, if you like crispy bacon, you're gross. No grill, no problem. We can do these burgers in a frying pan. It's that simple. Little oil, little heat, Bob's your uncle. Or Darren or Ed or whatever your uncle's name is. So let's, uh, let's get to it.
burger patties are cooked. Set those bad boys aside. Now, roll out that puff pastry and start building some pretty badass burgers. You can use whatever you want. Uh, today, I got some bacon, gonna use some cheese, some onions, some jam, that's what I like. I know someone who uses corn relish on a lot of stuff, which is filthy, but hey, who am I to judge? Now that your Welly burgers are in the oven, uh, you got some time to kill. So let's fill it with a pro tip. All right guys, pro tip of the day. This one is a keeper. You might want to write this down. When in the act of cooking bacon, always, always wear a shirt. All joking aside, but not really joking. That splash is fat, hot fat. It's not fun without a shirt. Uh, I wanna talk about knife handling. So, a lot of people see the chefs on TV with this bad boy. This is called a steel. Uh, this is ceramic, this one, but it's the same thing. This is not sharpening your knife. This, is just taking the edge off. Uh, essentially, if you were to look at this with a microscope, it has teeth on it that go like this. That's right, like this. And using this steel, it just knocks those teeth off so you can bring your edge back. It's not sharpening it. You don't need to go crazy for an hour to ensure that you have a sharp knife. That's not what it's for. This just brings the edge back and just two or three swipes is more than enough. And always wipe your knife off with a rag when you're done so you don't get little bits of uh, steel in your uh, food. That's it. Not a sharpener, just brings the edge back. Well, that was a little more boring than Dunkaroos, but still a tip nonetheless, and hopefully you take care of your knives and they will last you a lifetime. Your burgers are done. Let's stop talking. It's time to start eating. As always, like, share, comment, subscribe, the whole gambit. And I have no idea what Instagram TV does, so if there's something you can do on that, fire away. Do it too. And uh, we will see you next Friday, guys. Take care.
you guys like what you see and you enjoy watching me make all these crazy dishes, uh, go ahead and like and subscribe and comment in these uh, videos because comments, subscriptions, and likes will help me do more giveaways for cool stuff like knives, maybe frying pans, maybe aprons, who knows. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. Cheers.